This beautiful setting in Strongsville is one of a growing number of private dog parks around the country <laughs> that pet owners can rent at reasonable prices through a website and app called Sniff Spot that aims to tap into a niche market. A lot of people have uh, apartments or they don't have a fenced-in backyard and they just want to be able to take their dog somewhere and you know, throw the ball around and let them get some energy out. Or maybe their dogs don't get along with other dogs and they just kind of want their own little private thing back here. So those are the main people we end up seeing. <laughs> Drop it. Scott Pody says his dogs Ripley and Josie love to play in the family's large backyard and around their pond. And he felt it would be the perfect place to profile on Sniff Spot. Well, they kind of describe it as like the Airbnb for dogs. So we said, hey, we got a big yard and a pond back here. And you know, I think people would like going to it. Users of Sniff Spot can block off times to bring their dogs to the yard of their choice for prices usually ranging from seven to $15 an hour. There is also a discount for those bringing additional dogs. <laughs> Members and their yards receive ratings based on the overall experience for dogs and their humans. So Scott Pody and his wife decided to add a couple of creature comforts. Set up some chairs and dog toys, dog treats. We even put snacks out for humans. Users of the app are only asked to follow some very simple rules, the most important of which is to clean up after your pet. <laughs> when Scott Pody told one of his friends about Sniff Spot, he thought it was some kind of a joke. Sit. But the reality is that after over two weeks on Sniff Spot, there have already been 20 visitors to the Pody's private park for puppies. Completely surprised to be honest. I didn't think it was going to take off that fast. So we just kind of did it and said, hey, we'll see what happens. And before you know, we had people book in. People just love dogs and they just love spending time with them and doing different things. They're almost like, you know, part of the family. Jack Shea, Fox 8 News in Strongsville.